So good morning, uh, and it's really my pleasure to join Sally in welcoming you to uh, the 2017 Global Climate and Energy Project Symposium. I am so pleased I got here a little early so I could hear Sally's talk because I don't usually get to hear uh, that much um, sort of nice review of what's been accomplished, and uh, boy, is it impressive. Uh, 15 years ago, President John Hennessy announced the launch of GSEP at Stanford, and he called it a revolutionary collaboration between Stanford and its industry partners, dedicating $225 million towards solving, quote, one of the most pressing problems we face today, the generation and consumption of energy in an environmentally benign way. It was one of the most pressing problems we faced 15 years ago, it, was, it is one of the most pressing problems we face today. It will be one of the most pressing problems we face long into the future. Since then, this pioneering program has really had a profound impact on this institution, and I'd like to talk about that for a minute. Thanks to the foresight and support of sponsors, ExxonMobil, Schlumberger, Bank of America, and our past sponsors, GE, Toyota, and DuPont, We've been able to work at a scale that's empowered a broad and deep search for solutions across a spectrum of energy fields. Over the past 15 years, GSEP has awarded $209 million to researchers at Stanford and other institutions to develop technologies, as you heard from Sally, with one big goal in mind, to work towards a decarbonized future. It's been a very bold effort. Many areas of GSEP-funded research have been considered too cutting edge for traditional funding sources, technologies ranging from all-carbon solar cells and aluminum batteries to negative emissions and wirelessly charged electric cars, as you just heard. Now, GSEP set us on a path to transform the way we pursue energy study and research at Stanford. Faculty members have been encouraged to think outside of their individual areas and to take a multidisciplinary and collaborative view of energy and climate science, and they have responded. The big picture approach of GSEP has created collaboration and partnerships among researchers in 18 different departments at Stanford, including material science, biology, physics, chemistry, geological sciences, geophysics, engineering, applied physics, and many more. What I've observed from my time at SLAC and at the School of Engineering in particular is that GSEP acted like a great attractor, allowing us to bring incredible talent to the university in the energy space, and then it helped connect that talent across what is a dispersed and decentralized institution and dispersed and decentralized intellectual landscape. It helped the faculty focus on bigger challenges with the potential for better solutions. Today, we have more than 200 faculty with expertise in energy from renewable technologies, such as solar and wind, to issues affecting policy and economics. And I'm heartened to see that student interest in the energy field is growing. We now offer more than 300 energy courses and a number of energy degrees. But the influence of GSEP can be felt well beyond the halls of Stanford, and I'd like to share with you some of those impressive numbers. In combination with the resource, resources and know-how of our industry partners, we've unleashed the creative energy of 200 researchers at 46 institutions worldwide, funding more than 100 projects. In addition, GSEP investigators have submitted 60 patent applications with 15 patents already issued. The program has supported nearly 1,000 students and postdoctoral researchers, many of whom are now pursuing careers in the energy sector. Some of them are here. They'll be presenting posters and participating in the Energy Startup Showcase, which features new companies with Stanford alums at the helm. Now, building on the strong base of GSEP, we've been ex significantly expanding our efforts in energy research and education here at Stanford. And in 2009, we established the Precourt Institute for Energy through, the gener through a generous gift from alumnus Jay Precourt. The Precourt Institute has become a hub for bringing together our growing community of energy scientists, engineers, and other scholars to stimulate interaction and collaboration. 
In addition, business leaders, policymakers, legal experts, and others are partnering with us in a quest for solutions to the world's most difficult energy challenges. More than a dozen centers and programs focused on energy research now complement and enrich the cross-university efforts of the Institute, creating what has now, 15 years later, become a really broad ecosystem at Stanford that encompasses energy, climate science, policy, and economics. Through the programs and initiatives of the Precourt Institute, Stanford has been able to examine the energy field through a variety of lenses and employ a broad range of approaches. And working in this way and at this scale encourages collaboration, innovation, and risk-taking hallmarks of cutting-edge research. This is the future of research in the energy sector, interdisciplinary thinkers who can work across multiple fields in the quest to develop transformative technologies, policies, and businesses. It's been a huge change at this institution over 15 years with, we hope, even increasing impact going into the future. So looking ahead, Stanford recently embarked on long-range planning to look at our future. We're in the early stages of evaluating more than 2,800 ideas and proposals that have come from our community to help shape the university's future. We've all been thrilled to see the energy and enthusiasm of participants across the university community. It's a little too soon to zero in on specific proposals coming out of the process, but we do know that the themes of sustainability are coming from all directions in our community. Our mission will continue to be about education and research for the benefit of the broader world, but I think the subject about which you are gathered will be front and center. And it, our long-range vision will continue to have a commitment to the sustainability and environmental stewardship, which are so f important for the future of our planet. With major research underway at Stanford in the areas of renewable energy, energy storage, cleaner fossil fuels, energy efficiency, and energy policy, we are making a concerted effort for the greater good. And I really want to recognize a few people. Well, first, I'd like to rec recognize everyone who's involved in this important research. But there are a few individuals I'd like to call out. I'd like to especially acknowledge the GSEP and Precord Institute leadership teams, Lynn Orr, Great to have you back, Lynn. Um, founding director of both GSEP and the Precourt Institute for Energy, Chris Edwards, uh, the GSEP founding deputy director, Sally Benson, GSEP director and Precourt Institute for Energy co-director, Arun Majumdar, Precourt Institute for Energy co-director, and again, Richard Sassoon, GSEP managing director. Thank you all for your vision and your leadership, for your efforts in training and educating the next generation of leaders in energy, and a heartfelt thanks to the senior leaders from our sponsor co companies who have served over the years on the GSEP Management Committee as technical representatives. Thank you all for joining us for this year's conference. Thank you for your ongoing efforts to help move the world to a sustainable future for energy. Thank you.